Guys, I'm too interested. It's the next wave of like social, uh, fundamentally kind of the abandonment of the social graph actually, and the complete movement towards machine learning directed content discovery. You know, the movement from a Facebook newsfeed to a TikTok or a newsfeed to a Reels. If we stay in the Facebook family and I don't get killed by Alex Schultz. Um, uh, like, is that the next wave of social? Have we seen the abandonment of the social graph? Complete abandonment, I feel like, is a very binary way to look at it. Like, I don't think you're going to see a complete abandonment. Um, but I will say, like, why did we use... Why do we use social networks, in in like, initially? Because social networks were great filters. When I say social networks, I mean the people you follow on a social network, your social network. They're great filters, first filters for content that's relevant to you. And the fundamental thesis is that your friends are kind of into the stuff that you're into. And I would argue it is the greatest mistake of social networks in the last 20 years is to believe that is true. Because it turns out Mike is into very different, like, yes, I like electronic music, Harry. It's true. Um, Mike, <laughs> you like F1. And like, if you show electronic music stories to Mike and F1 stories to me, that's terrible just because we're friends. By the way, like our social graph couldn't be stronger and more overlapping. But like your content is terrible for me, Mike. Now, yes, of course, there's, it's like median voter theory. It's like, the stuff in the middle that satisfies both you and me, Mike, it happens to be tech news and it's kind of like middle of the road stuff on chat GBT. Great. Wonderful. But what about all that like amazing texture that makes us people? And that's the thing that I think TikTok or ByteDance, I guess I would say unlocked with TikTok. They realized that there's so much more to people than just their social graph and that your social graph is of course a useful signal but to say that that is the core signal and when i say core signal i i log on to facebook circa i don't know 2006 or whenever news feed came out i can't remember uh, definitely 2000 yeah 2006 is fine the seven was the iphone right so um you log on and you're seeing posts from your friends and it's like okay i guess that's relevant if i'm in college because i wonder what my friends are up to this weekend but like over time that doesn't scale over time that becomes weird when your angry uncle is posting about trump and you're just like okay like I, this isn't for me so long time like long story short i think that social networks need to become less social and i think that something that will make up for it is this idea of learned association or learned affinity through your behavior um, and I hope what we will be able to do is show that algorithms can be used to work for the user rather than for the company. Um, and that that will end up being a great experience long term. There are all sorts of things you have to watch out for in this direction. The same way there are things to watch out for in social networks around filter bubbles and around, you know, you know, some user having way, way too much distribution and using that distribution to post things that aren't true or whatever, like, there are all sorts of issues you have to work through. It's not squeaky clean. It's not a like a, a panacea, um, but it is very, very exciting because, you know, every network is moving this way, but it feels like when networks were moving to mobile in like 2007, 2008, like they kind of half stepped. Like, remember Facebook had a mobile app, but was like actually written in HTML and like, it wasn't really native. And, and then all these native apps came out doing social networks. And I was like, oh, that's what this should be. Um, I feel like machine learning is exactly the same wave we're seeing right now. It, it's it's a parallel wave. Um, I think so, that's so, that. I don't think it's a complete annihilation of the social network, but I do believe that unconnected content is incredibly important. And I, I think what doesn't go away is the desire to talk about it with people you care about when there is a connection. You know, so. I think inverting the discovery versus sort of conversation piece is really key. So, you know, what determines what you see on Artifact or other things that are like recommendation driven is not, you know, who you're friends with or who you happen to follow or who you knew in college. It's what, you know, we think is, you know, relevant to you. But sure, like, uh, you know, I'm really interested in housing policy in California. Whenever I get a great housing policy article, like instantly, you know, I have a housing policy group in the DM chat, but even for the people that aren't in the, in the social kind of area of the product yet, we've seen people like 
sharing it out to Twitter to start a conversation or sharing it to a WhatsApp group and have a conversation. Like, I think it can build relationships and strengthen them once you have more things to talk about. And then, you know, I have a friend who are both really into the Warriors and pretty much once a day, something will come through my feed that's about, you know, some either Warriors rumor or story. And it's like another moment to have another conversation with him. So I, I, I think the social component solves a very strong conversational piece. It just doesn't need to gate discovery as it has traditionally. Should Artifact integrate a Discord at the verticalization of communities, of community building, management, maintenance? Is that the future, do you think? We've, yeah, we've thought a bit about like what it means to have a community around conversation. Because ultimately, if we get really good at learning your interest, it's an exciting other kind of area is, well, it's fun to converse with people about those interests that you might not know at all, you know? And it's grounded in in content that exists. Um, but for sure, we've thought about and 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 I think it's exciting to think about what are what are the ways in which these communities can form around interest around people similar to your you know taste profile who are either in your city or you know also in interested in F one and and like I said, we've gotten these little glimpses of it in the beta group. You know, like we had a World Cup group where actually a couple of the folks went to the World Cup, so they were on the ground. DMing us and then we were talking about it. So, you know, I've seen that and I didn't know any of them. That's what was lovely. It was, I didn't know any of them in person. There are people that I met purely through interests. And I think that there's, there's real power in that. Can I ask a slightly weird one, guys? But I, I just did a, a next generation kind of consumer social network in Europe, positive only, kind of gas for Europe, if we're just being blunt. Um, and everyone was like, oh, well, anyone can just copy them. Anyone can just copy them. Where's the defensibility? When you think about social, and feature richness. Is there anything wrong with copying? <laughs> um, I was going to say, like, one of the questions you had sent over earlier um, was like, man, isn't news, and actually, no, you said social. Uh, you were even nicer. Isn't social like a bad place to invest right now? You know, there hasn't been a new social thing, really. What did you say? In the last 10 years, maybe? Yeah. yeah. I, said um, I mean, I guess there was Be Real, but I don't know. I saw some headline this morning on Artifact about how, like, Be Real's, you know, I, downloads are down 95% or whatever. And, like, I, I guess like, social gets a bad rap. This is going to be this is going to be heresy to a VC's ears. But, like, I think investing in verticals and spaces is BS. Like, yes, in general, generative AI is going to produce something pretty cool. Like, yes, the stuff like these, these verticalized, like the sharing economy, it's like, okay, cool. Um, that was a while ago, but I'm, I'm just naming these trends that have come and gone throughout the years. Um, a hundred percent of this is team a hundred percent. Like you can take a team of people and say, Hey, like go build a new car company. And you're like, uh, cars. But I don't know, with the right team, with Elon in charge, it'd be worth a lot, right? Um, cars are inherently unsexy as a business, and and I guess the last chapter hasn't been written on that valuation. But, like, my point is, um, I think almost everything here is about team plus the area. And what's cool about news and social is um, the general... Well, let's talk social for a second. The general lack of like the skills that it takes to grow social things. Like the one thing that I think Facebook should be remembered for as a professional development, like incubator is its ability to, uh, to teach young PMs, the scientific method of growth. How do you grow things? Maybe to a fault, by the way, like it was some of the tactics, right? But, using the scientific methods, run A-B tests or multivariate tests, using statistical power, using, using you know, key values to understand whether or not you have significance in a test and whether to, you can loop your way towards better things in social. Like, man, that is so important. And it is so hard to just get a group of people together and get lucky like we did with Instagram because we had no insight into any of that until we got to Facebook. But like my point here is that with the right team and the right skills and the right history, you can like you can make pretty quote unquote unsexy areas become sexy again. I can't tell you how many people when we started Instagram were like images. Whoa. There's this famous graphic at the time that had like money, like 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 amount like amount in exits in video versus so uh versus photos. 
And it was like, you had this huge YouTube one and then like nothing in photos. And it's like, okay, you can either read that as that is a pattern and that you can extrapolate that, or you can say there's the opportunity. Um, I, I'm, so I'm we've sure just had, chosen to go like, on the opportunity. So I'm sure you had Flickr in that bucket, which is like the yeah. one thing. 